I want to share an update on the DYS gimbal with the simple BGC control board. Now in a previous video I introduced how to configure this using the Bluetooth module, getting the module set up, configured so that we can talk to our control board wirelessly. That's just been a tremendous help, but you still need your laptop or desktop to do this. And what I'm going to do is take this even a step further. Several of you had suggested using an Android device with the simple BGC mobile app, which is something that I didn't even realize existed. So thanks to all of you who posted those comments, made the suggestions. I'm going to demonstrate my first time experience on camera with this app. So what I'll start by doing is I'll power up both the gimbal and the Bluetooth module. And in my case, I'm using the Samsung Galaxy Alpha but I know this will work on many different Android devices. You can see the simple BGC app, which is a free download from Google Play. I'll go ahead and launch this. It's asking for Bluetooth permission. I'll go ahead and say yes. And then at the top, you'll notice this little settings icon. I'll click that. Then I'll select connect. And just to simplify things for me, I'll go ahead and click connect at startup. And let's go ahead and select search now and you can see it shows up as unknown device. Now in the previous video we named it Simple BGC but I'm assuming this is it so I'll select it. Now it's asking for the pin number and we can actually see the name there Simple BGC. The pin is one, two, three, four. Click OK. And now you can see that our PID gains are loaded and as you scroll through the list you can see all the settings. You can calibrate the accelerometer, the gyro, do adapted PID gains control. Now there's some really cool settings. So you have monitoring. We can take a look at the monitoring tab that shows kind of the inputs from the accelerometer. I'm wobbling the gimbal around. But of course the main one you'll be concerned with when getting everything tuned are your gimbal settings. And you'll notice down here our motor power for each axis. So I'm going to go ahead and test this out. I'm going to change the roll to 150. Hit OK, and you can hear that those settings are being written over Bluetooth to the board. We can look at the dials like we do in the actual simple BGC GUI desktop app. You can actually see the voltage and the battery remaining. So let me go ahead and just wobble the hexa around with a gimbal underneath it. See all the values change. And one thing that I haven't messed with much on the desktop app are profiles, but you can see in here if I click on profile, you can switch between any of these. They'll have profiles set up with different gains and I'll be able to test each of those. We can load it all on the ground, get in the air, and then change to our specific profile. So just really excited about this because from what I'm seeing here, the options that you have in the mobile app actually exceed what you can do with the desktop. And now let me just briefly demonstrate the control mode. So go down here to control and what you'll need to do is hit this little power button to enable it. And you see the gimbal in the back so I'll just go ahead and roll it. See that it's rolling Then I'll roll it the other way and you can let go and it'll stop at the current location. And now I'll do yaw which is this up and down axis. See I'm moving it back and forth as well as pitch, up, then down. So pretty handy little feature to be able to remotely control your simple BGC. Now to be honest I'm not sure when you would use that just because of the limited range of Bluetooth but if you're doing some we'll say short distance shooting that should come in pretty handy. So I'll be continuing to work on getting these gains dialed in and I'll share those with you when I'm done. Thanks to all who suggested using the Android app. It's really going to make this process even easier than it would be with the desktop. If you guys have any more questions, comments, or even further suggestions, please leave them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.